G'day guys. So, yes, it's time for another trap. So, this trap, like the previous frog trap, was designed to have utility when you're not online, by preventing them from killing themselves. This is going to be another pitfall trap, and it's actually the fifth design on this channel, where the floor collapses beneath them. So, start with the foundation, with the pillar in the centre, and another pillar on the side of that foundation, at the lower snap point. And demo the middle pillar. And another pillar in the centre, again at the lower snap point. Okay, so now place a foundation next to that. It'll be lowered three times. Once something's lowered three times, it becomes a separate structure. And now I'm going to stack a full square of walls. So before you place the first wall down, make sure you press the Y button to flip the wall. So it's Y button on the Xbox controller, probably the triangle button on PlayStation. I'm not sure what key it is on the keyboard. Before you get too far ahead, make sure you put the side walls down. So keep placing thatch ceilings out from the last wall. And then you, before you hang a wall down from it, flip the wall. So with that ceiling out, get a metal wall out and flip it so it turns green and place it down. You're going to have to do this 20 times to fill a full square. So I'll just speed the rest up. Okay, so once you get to the end, don't bother flipping it, just put a wall along the edge. And place another wall along the first edge, that'll replace the first one, and it'll stay there. Okay, so now some walls around those stacked walls. You will need a door to check on the people that are trapped. And ramp up to the door. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, just build it up. It's going to be three walls high on both sides. Slap a ceiling on. Now two door frames up from the direction you want them to enter. That'll act to mask the level differences. Then box in those three sides. You don't have to put a ceiling on if you want to keep them watered so they don't dehydrate. Okay, so now what we have is the trap in its triggered state. So now we just have to set it.
you can use whatever destructible wall you want, but I use greenhouse walls. Hang it down to divide the two sides. Make sure there's that gap beneath it. And then another wall down from that. And now your collapsing floor comes out from the bottom of that greenhouse wall. You should have a gap at the bottom of that door frame. So cover that up with the ramp going down. So at this point you can put whatever bait you want behind that glass wall to entice them to break through it. You don't need that thatch wall anymore. You can get rid of it if you want. Or leave it there. It doesn't matter. Anyway, now that's the finished trap in its set state. Ready for its first victim. Okay, so... The victim comes up, spies some bait behind that wall. You can just throw a floor in there with a smithy on it, for example. Greenhouses are a lot stronger than what they used to be. You may want to pre-weaken it for them. But when they do break it, the floor will collapse beneath them. The ramp will give way and they'll fall down onto a floating floor. The reason to make them float is because they can't eat to kill themselves, they can't poison themselves, and they can't starve because they can't regain stamina. They can sit there punching until they pass out. They should wake up back in there. The more they punch, the more they'll pass out because they won't have any stamina at this point. You do do a slight bit of damage by punching metal walls. So it's point 0.2 per punch. So it's going to take them a long time if they keep passing out to kill themselves that way. Anyway, it's now time to go over to the official service and see one out in the wild. This is one I built probably six or seven months ago. It's still there. It is built differently in that the stacked walls are on the higher foundation, not the lower one. But the mechanism is exactly the same. But I've come to prefer that other previous design. So with this one I just used a cropper's bait behind that greenhouse wall. So we do have a floater in there. had to quickly make a slingshot, had no way of knocking him out. You'll notice they always drift over to one corner, the same corner every time. So you may want to build a trap with easy access to that corner. So there's always bloody dilos. I think they nerfed the dilos, didn't they? They used to spit first when you come in at you, but I don't think they do that anymore. They don't lead with the spit. <laughs> now 
Anyway, that's one reason I just don't move with me. Anyway, this is victim number two. You always get noobs in these traps. Man, there's victim number three. They seem to just go offline and quit the server. And now I've slipped into it myself. All for a sparkler skin. Anyway, if you want to collect sleeping bodies, it's a pretty good way of doing that. This poor bastard probably worked hard for that saddle and furniture. And that's the leader of a rival tribe. He didn't actually get caught in there, we threw him in there to preserve him when we caught him napping. That's before being transferred over to the jail, which is made in the same way. Or at least works by the same principle, so it makes them float, so they can't eat, nor can they starve. And they're handcuffed, so they can't punch the wall either. Anyway, that's it guys. Um, that jail does have a couple issues with escapage. One, two of the cells they can kind of glitch out of and the turrets can sometimes shoot them through the wall, which is, so you have to turn the turrets off on the jail. Anyway, that's it. Um, see you in the next video.